what's up with you how are you doing and how is the weather treating you welcome to today's tutorial so i want to say a very big thank you to my amazing subscribers who i keep bumping into on daily basis thank you for making me feel so special thank you thank you thank you for thinking so highly of me i really really appreciate you all sincerely from my heart I appreciate all of you thank you for the love you are showing me i really really appreciate that okay sincerely you make me feel like a star thank you so much thank you for adding meaning and color to my life and may god keep blessing you immensely and to visitors who happen to be passing by this is the needle woman feel free to subscribe before leaving and also tap on the bell to get yourself notified so quickly to the business of today we're going to be making this very beautiful top using this fabric it's actually three yards but i already made skirt out of it so i have this left okay and we're going to be using it for today's tutorial so quickly we'll get started okay okay so i want to remove the the flay part first of all before we cut the bodies the waist measurement i'm working with is 32 inches i'll be adding about 10 more inches to the waist i hope you get so it will now be 42 okay then we fold this way and fold again so the waist we are cutting with now is 42 inches but my actual waist i'm working with is 32 inches okay okay so the radius is 6.7 that's 42 divided by 6.28 will give us 6.7 approximately so i'll measure 6.7 all around Okay, I hope you can see this. And then the length of the peplum is 9 inches. Folding allowance inclusive. Okay. Also remove here then at the lower part I'll take away two inches connect it to this point that is to avoid any form of clumsiness at the zip side okay so that's all okay so for this, I'll use half of the waist measurement I used. Remember, I used 42. So I'll use half of it. That's 21. Divided by 6.28 will give us 3.3. So I'll fold again this way. And measure 3.3. So I have to shift it because I want the length to be about 6 inches. So I'll make readjustments. Okay. Length 6 inches. So I'll measure 6 inches round and then cut it. So next will be to 
open up one end for the longer one for this one i use two inches here i'll use one and a half here and then connect it to this point okay and then it's going to be like this so i'll have to curve this one Okay, so this is going to sit on top of this one as seen in that picture. So we'll go over to the bodies. Okay, so for the upper part, half length is 16.5. I'm going to use 17. Shoulder is... Shoulder is 16 inches. So you take your shoulder measurement this way, 16 into 2, 8. Shoulder to bust is 11 inches. I'll add half an inch. So I measured 11 and a half inches. Under bust is 3 and a half inches below the shoulder to bust. Upper bust, the same thing. And then my bust span is 8 inches plus quarter of an inch for sewing. So I'm taking 4.25. Okay. If your sewing allowance is half, you take four and half. I hope you get that. Maybe very soon we'll change to another type of princess bust. Maybe we'll stop using this one. Okay. Along this way, I'll take 3 inches standard for shoulder slope. Here, 1 inch also for shoulder slope. Because you know I'm cutting this part off. Okay, It's not part of the measurement. Okay. Now, along the shoulder line, the armhole line, I'll take 3 inches. Next thing I'll do will be to connect this to this place with a slight curve. Okay. I hope you see that I will then cut. Sorry, there's no way I can make this chalk more visible than it appears because of the color of the fabric. I'm using the blue chalk. I've tried to use this. It's not working. Okay. And I can't use red. White also is not showing. So sorry about that, please. So I'll cut this one out now. Okay. I already notched the three points. My neck width is 5 inches. Okay. Neck volume, 5 inches as well. So I'm going to open it up now. Okay. this off all right so we we'll now cut the two sides okay so you make sure you have up to three inches towards this side 
you mark the notch points and then trace out the shape of the center front. Arm hole is 8 inches. Okay, so I'll now place my bust and my hip measurement. Bust is 9.5, which is here. So an allowance of 2 inches. Waist is 8 which is here, allowance of 3 inches. Okay. And then at the center notch here, I'll mark 2 and half inches. Connect it to the under bust. Okay. So we'll go to the back. So this is on fold. Half length is 16.5. I'm taking 17 inches. Zipper allowance of one and a half inches. Shoulder, 16. 3 inches here for shoulder slope, 1 inch here for that as well. Sorry please if you are not seeing this marking, this is the much I can do. I'm whole of 8 inches. Bust, 9.5. Two inches sewing allowance, waist eight inches, three inches, one out of which is for that. Okay. Neck width for the front was five inches, so for the back is five inches as well. And neck volume. Four. So I'll cut this way and then open here. And here we have our basic sleeve for one of the sleeves as you can see in that picture. So for the other one, we're going to be cutting it here, okay? Arm hole that I'm using is 8 inches, into 2 is 16, so I'm going to use 16 inches circumference to cut the arm hole, okay? But then when I'm, when I'm joining it, I'll have to make sure that the arm hole corresponds with the arm hole on the dress because if you look at that sleeve, it does not have any crease at all. It is straight and flat all round, okay? So I'll cut it in such a way that it must correspond with the armhole on the on the dress i hope you get that but first i'll just cut maybe with a small hole so that when i'm i'm done joining the front and the back and the two sides i will now take measurement of the armhole carefully and make adjustments on the sleeve before i now put it on the body of the dress Alright, so this is for the sleeve. The length is 6 inches. Hope you see that. Like I said, this circle here, I will make sure it corresponds with the armhole here to avoid me pleating it or gathering it at whatsoever point when I'm attaching it here. Okay, so I'll leave it like this. When it's time for attachment, I will measure 
the circumference of the armhole. With that, I will then expand it to make sure it fits properly without any pleats whatsoever. Okay. All right, so the next will be to cut this red one. Sorry, I already have this style made. It's for two people. I hope you can see it, okay? Okay, so the next thing I'll cut will be this side. Okay, this red side. Now, if you look closely, you will see I have just one piece here. But for this second one, I want to try something else. I'll be cutting two of it. One, I will cut one with this, okay? With this side. And then I will cut another straight one that will come from the shoulder down to the waist here. Okay? For this one, it's just one. You see, there is no joining elsewhere. There's no joining anywhere at all, okay? But for this one now, I want to see if it will still give me the same thing. I'm going to cut one red using this side, okay? And then cut another straight one again that will come from the shoulder down to the waist. So this is what I was talking about. So this is for this. I'll use it to cover this. And then some part of it will cross over to this side. Okay, I hope you understand better now. All right, so I'll go to the machine and I'll go to, I'll first of all cut the wooden and the lining for all of them. For this red one, first I'll sew it this way. Like this. I will sew it this way and then turn it. Okay. And then sew it around just to tack it. Okay. So I've lined all of them. This is the sleeve. Okay. The peplum. And then the bodies I've also lined and joined them at the two shoulders. So next will be to use pin to hold this at the back. Then I will close them up at the two sides using the body measurement. Okay. Okay, next thing will be to, after joining at the two sides, I will first of all attach this one. Okay. Now this is how I'm going to be doing it. I will make sure this point laps well with the red okay and then at this bust here this uh, breast dart this one here i'll do one pleat then another one at the side here okay just that too so i'm going to sew this way here i have one key split that is the joining here and then at the breast dart here i have another key split Okay, just two. Okay, so when I'm done with that, I will then attach this one as well. I'll start from the back. Okay, put one key split here at the ba back that. Okay, at the back that here, we have one key split. At the joining here, where I already put this one will have another key split at this place another key split okay and then it continues this way so this is what i mean so at the back here this is the back that one key split just very small at the side the joining by the side another key split this is the the that that came from the breast down here, another key split. I hope you get that. So I'll do it on this side, do it at the other side. Then, for the sleeve, I will now measure the circumference of my armhole and use it and expand this armhole. I hope you get that. But this time is going to be one-sided. This is what I mean. You see, it is equal. Looking at it now. Okay, so when I want to expand it, I'll just take one side down so that this longer side becomes the one that will sit at the shoulder and then this shorter side 
becomes one that will be at the armhole. You know, by virtue of expanding the armhole this way, this place becomes shorter than this. Hope you get that. So this is the upper part of the shoulder. This is for the armhole. I hope it's clear enough. Okay, so this is what I was trying to say. I've expanded it to the measurement of the armhole. So you have here five and a half. You have here five. Okay, so the longer part will now sit on top of the shoulder while the shorter one is underneath. That's how the armhole. I'll attach it and then put my zip and we are soon done. Okay, my lovely people, we've come to the end of the tutorial. I only used pin to hold these ones. I'll take my time to use needle and thread to tack it. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you are yet to subscribe, please hit on that icon. And if this tutorial has been helpful to you in any way, please give us your thumbs up and also share our videos, please. And I still crave your prayers sincerely from my heart please remember me in your prayers and pray for someone else and of course pray for my country nigeria okay so i'm going to show you now where miss headless will be modeling it for us so that you will see the difference between the other one and this one okay there is actually no difference the only thing is this one this line is visible okay but the other one there is no line here all right so this is the end result of the one we made now the only difference is that this one has a breast cut i hope you see it but the first one i showed you does not have any breast cut i hope you see that use the red fabric to close up this other side of the breast cut okay